Hi everyone, this is Bella and she'll be showing you how to make an evergreen card holder today. Alright, step one, attaching bows together. Place a pine bow on the table and place a cedar bow on top of the pine bow. Trim the cedar bow with garden shears to make the two bows roughly the same length and thickness. Trim the branches away from the base of the bow in order to tie them together. Take your floral wire and cut a 5 inch piece with wire cutters. Wrap the wire around the base of the two bows tightly. We suggest adding hot glue along the wire ends for extra security. Repeat this process two more times so you may have three pairs of bows all together. Step 2. Attaching Pine Cones Choose three pine cones to be at the top of your evergreen card holder. Cut 6 inches of floral wire with wire cutters. Leave your wire along the inside of the pine cone. This may take some practice. Twist the leftover wire to secure it to the pine cone. Wrap the twisted wire around the top of the base of your bows. Make sure your pine cone is pointed downwards. Repeat two more times so each pair has a pine cone top. Repeat this process again, but instead of placing at the top of the bows, place it on the branches instead. One or two per bow is enough.
Step 3. Attaching to the birch pole. Take your 3 foot pole and place our completed evergreen bows along it to determine their placing. They should be evenly spaced for this desired look. Cut an 8 inch piece of floral wire with wire cutters. First, wrap the wire tightly along the base of your evergreen bows, leaving extra for the birch pole. Wrap the excess wire tightly around the birch pole, securing it onto the evergreen bows. Adjust the pine cone toppers as needed. Repeat this process two more times so all three bows are placed on the bridge pole. Your evergreen card holder is now completed. Be sure to check out our extra suggestions and share your creations with us online. All materials and more are available at Cannondale Nurseries, St. Thomas, Ontario.